What up, guys? James from Bolt Bros here. Hey, want to chat a little bit about the pressure Justin Herbert's going to have this year with signing that massive $262 million contract. Interesting comments that Austin Neckler made on it. So let's chat about it, guys. Let's get into it, boys. Bolt Bros! Let's go. <laughs> um, but Basically wanted to chat about this article I was reading about and comments that Austin Eckler talked about with Justin Herbert and having all this pressure on them. Obviously, when a guy signs a big contract, you know, you expect big things out of him. I mean, Justin Herbert's obviously an average of $52.5 million per year, making him the highest paid quarterback in the league. Just that alone is insane to be able to put a lot of pressure on this guy to make him uh, get to the next level. You know, I'll just say one thing as in – being at the training camp last week, um, there's kind of a different Justin Herbert. I feel he is looking looser. He's out there really engaging more with the fans. I mean, it's always kind of been known that he's kind of the guy that just signs on day one uh, for training camp and then doesn't go back and sign autographs. He was signing autographs every single day. So it's very cool to see that. Um, so I don't know if that's something a part of his contract, but it's really cool to be able to see him engaging a lot more with the fans. And uh, just seeming like he's being a lot more loose as a player all around. So it's great to see that. So uh, what I wanted to speak on was what Austin Eckler specifically talked on with Justin Herbert. And I thought it was interesting because it's not like he was throwing himself under the bus or anything like that. But I think it's a very, very good quote all around. And they asked him, hey, does he have pressure? Does Justin have Herbert have pressure to basically play at an, an elite level? Uh, at a whole new level as a player. And he's like, you know, uh, obviously quarterback has 100% pressure on them all the time, regardless of whatever team you pretty much go to. But he said 100%, there's pressure on every one of us. For him, he just got paid all this money, so the organization's going to want to see him play well. He's going to want to see himself play well, and I want to see him play well. He's got a ton of pressure. You know, it's we'll see. And then he also – elaborated a little bit later on he said well how will herbert respond to the pressure he said we will see time will tell and i'll say one thing you know being at training camp once again going back on that you know justin herbert looked phenomenal i mean he looked like the real deal he looked like justin herbert could have a monster season all around and it's always fun to talk about him because it's Easy to talk about him, I should say, because the guy is an absolute dog. Like, the guy knows how to play football. The guy knows he could sling the ball all over the field. He knows he can make those tough throws. You know, it's about staying healthy. Last year was kind of a fluke, in my opinion. But even to say last year, we still got to the playoffs with him basically having a shoulder injury, a rib injury, and still having a good, solid season. 10-7 and seven season, got to the playoffs. So, not bad. I do foresee him having a monster season all around. And I don't think the pressure is going to bother him by any means. Um, I think that he's going to step up a lot more as a leader, a lot more as a vocal leader. And I could see that when I was at training camp that I feel like he's playing just a lot more loose and just seeing those signature Herbo bombs one after another, and just adding a guy like Quentin Johnston to this team. I mean, you got Quentin Johnston, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, you know, Joshua Palmer's playing extremely well. You even got John Hightower looking really good. I mean, it's awesome to see this guy and how he's flourished. I mean, the Chargers obviously want to see a return on their investment. I think they're going to get a huge investment out of him. Bigger thing, too, Chargers as a franchise for the battle for Los Angeles, if you want to say. You know, Justin Herbert has created a really, really exciting brand of football for L.A., and that's a big return on investment for the Chargers, too. So I don't think... Justin Herbert's going to buckle under the pressure by any means. I think he's going to have a phenomenal season. I think every player on this team's got 100% pressure on him. Uh, you got a 53-man squad and plus a practice squad. Everybody's trying to get your job. And Justin Herbert, at this point in time, I think if he stays a healthy, healthy Justin Herbert, this is going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal season. I could see massive stats from him this year, and I don't think he's going to have any problems performing at an extremely high level. So, Let's get Justin Herbert out there for week one and let him do his thing. Kellen Moore has going to elevate him heavily. And I know we've chatted a little bit about that this week already and how this offense is looking, but 
Justin Herbert's going to have a phenomenal season. I don't think he's going to have any problems at all this year. So did want to also ask you, what are some other players that might have high pressure on them this year for the squad? I think it'd be interesting to hear that in your guys' comments. But once again, guys, appreciate all the support. Love. Slap that like and subscribe button if you have not. Bolt Bros. Let's go.